such a London story. It's so part of the mythology of, of East London. There were a lot of extraordinary things that happened in the 60s, culturally and politically and socially, and the craze were at the centre of all of that. It's a period of time in the city's history that's profound, and they're part of it. It wasn't all poor, driven drab. The fact that people could get away with so much back then made a very exciting time, actually. Because it was this great sort of melting pot of all kinds of things that were going on, whether it was in music or art or fashion, especially enormous explosion of fashion. The twins themselves were completely uh, obsessed with fashion. That was incredibly important to them. So we knew that we, costume design-wise, we had to capture that. They were so in the public eye, they became sort of style icons. You were a figure of respect. You had to look the part. You get the suit, the double-breasted suit, the padded shoulders, the, the slight look that comes out of an American movie, Italian-style collars. The coats are so big and padded they can be full of weapons. You become a kind of a localized version of a, what they've seen in terms of Al Capone in Chicago. They also had a, a penchant for American cars. I mean, it, the things that are in the movie are all true. But also, there's no sets. 95% is real locations. And that reality adds to the tonal experience of the film. We wanted as much as possible to find locations that were either ones that they may have used themselves at the time or were close to that in feel or spirit. So it is a quintessentially London film. You had a city that, that suffered so much during the war. And when the 60s came along, I think all that style and fashion and music was London coming alive again. And so it's the time and the place and the people that are so gripping and fascinating to this day.